This is an SUV that we've been waiting for for a very long time. It is the all new Scorpio, but it gets an N badge as well to differentiate it from the regular Scorpio, which will now be sold as the Scorpio Classic. They're not discontinuing that. Mahindra is keeping that alive because it has its own place in their SUV lineup. But the new Scorpio is what we're going to be talking about. Mahindra likes to call it the big daddy of SUVs. And we're going to tell you why in this video. So the new Scorpio continues to be built as a body on frame quintessential SUV. But having said that, Mahindra has worked a lot at weight reduction. So the body in white and the chassis have all uh, received a lot of uh, weight reduction in order to improve overall drive dynamics and handling dynamics. And I will touch upon that a little later in this video. But right now, when you just look at this vehicle, you just can't take your eyes off of it. It's a vehicle that delights no matter which way you look at it. Uh, up front, it's got this nice aggressive grille, the new uh, Mahindra logo right up front, uh, the twin uh, projector headlights and uh, really neat looking fog lights uh, down low in the bumper. You can see that uh, a little bit of the older Scorpio's uh, uh, bumper design has carried over here to sort of keep that family look uh, in check and you've got a nice long bonnet uh, which is best viewed from when you move to the side of the vehicle. Uh, it's a very proportional vehicle. It is massive. They've increased the size in every dimension, but they've done an excellent job in uh, how they've sort of allocated uh, the glass house to the metal parts uh, ratio. And uh, that really brings out this strong shoulder line. You've got these great character lines that run all across the vehicle. You know, the sculpted bonnet, the side shoulder line, everything is just very striking and it gives this vehicle a really solid stance. Uh, the one thing of note is when you look at the vehicle from the side, you can see this nice uh, chrome garnish that runs along uh, the windowsill and at the rear it curves up and it's got a little notch. That is the scorpion's tail. So in case you're wondering where do you get a scorpion on the Scorpio, that's where it is. And uh, I told you that. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, as far as uh, the wheels are concerned, uh, beautiful 18-inch uh, diamond-cut alloys. Uh, they suit the vehicle really well. It looks nice and big and tough, and it does a great job of bringing out uh, the overall design element from the side. Now, the rear is something that a lot of people uh, have commented about because uh, on the teaser pictures that Mahindra released, you know, it does look a little flat. But the truth is that when you see the vehicle in person and in real life, it's actually uh, got a shape to it. It's not flat. Uh, they've got these really nice tall tower rear lights and uh, the back has this uh, nice little notch to it, which actually looks uh, rather nice. And uh, the integrated bumper, all of that has been done uh, rather well. So uh, when you look at the Scorpio, you walk around it, you suddenly start appreciating all the little bits of design that have gone in to make this vehicle look truly global and truly world-class. Uh, other highlights obviously include the shark fin antenna up top and these really neat looking roof rails. So the overall design, if I have to sum it up, is a vehicle that's got a nice aggressive stance. It looks premium, it looks plush, and it looks like it will take you through anything.
When it comes to the cabin of the Scorpio N, or the new Scorpio as we'd like to call it, is uh, something that surprises you with the fact that they've done an amazing job in terms of overall space allocation. The only grouse being uh, the third row seating uh, space for adults, but it's best left to kids. And if you've got kids under the age of 10, they're going to be very comfortable back there. And uh, But the second row, which was uh, a major negative in the older version, has been addressed and it is a very comfortable captain seat that you get in the back now. I'm quite sure Mahindra will have a bench uh, row as well, but uh, knee space, head space, all of that is very well taken care of because this car is uh, rather wide, rather long, and it sits nice and tall as well. So even your seating position is quite high and is very commanding. You look out over that long bonnet and you've got this nice sort of commanding seating position, which is something that I love and it's something that goes hand in hand with owning an SUV. You want to have that sort of macho feel even when you're behind the wheel and that's achieved very well with the Scorpio. And uh, as far as features go, it is really loaded. You've got a slew of features. You've got a nice large uh, touchscreen infotainment system, uh, wireless connectivity for your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a really premium Sony uh, music system, and you also get Alexa enabled uh, what three words for navigation. So these are some of the key features. Obviously Mahindra has gone all out and packed this with a ton of stuff that's gonna keep you entertained while on board. Well, I have spoken about the seating and the space allocation uh, when it comes to the new Scorpio N. Uh, the fact that they've finished it off in this nice premium look and feel is what really brings out the, the element that you're in something that's rather delightful. So the cabin gets a nice two-tone look. It's a coffee brown uh, with a black uh, finish. And uh, the seats also get the same treatment with a coffee brown and black uh, finish uh, done in leatherite. So overall, a very premium and uh, confident looking SUV. But uh, when we talk about comfort and convenience on board, uh, there's a lot that has gone into making uh, the Scorpio N what it is. As far as uh, comfort and connected features are concerned, uh, the Scorpio comes with a nice large uh, touchscreen infotainment system. It's equipped with the wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, and also uh, Alexa Watt 3 words uh, for voice commands. It is incidentally the first SUV in the world to get Alexa enabled what three words. And uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a nice 12 speaker Sony system that gives you a 3D immersive sound experience. Crank it up and listen to it. You can really enjoy your tracks uh, to your liking and it really adds to the overall element of uh, your drive. Uh, other features obviously include uh, steering mounted controls, cruise control, a nice driver display, which is a color TFT system uh, that has uh, a 17.78 uh, cm display you can get navigation on it you can see a whole uh, uh, list of uh, vehicle features on it so it's really nicely done uh, you also get a dual uh, ac up front so it is a, a dual setting for climate control the driver can set the temperature separately for himself and the front passenger can have a different set and the driver also gets a six-way power adjustable front seat so these are some of the key features that you can find on the new scorpio n Obviously, the list is very long and uh, right now Mahindra has only told us about uh, the range uh, from the Z2 all the way up to the Z8L. And uh, if you go onto our website and look up the story, we will have all of these features uh, variant wise listed out for you. So do take a look at that uh, when you do get the time. Under the massive hood of the new Scorpio, you get a choice of two engine options, but in various states of tune. To start with the petrol, you get a two liter petrol motor. We've seen it on the XUV700 and it makes uh, 200 PS of power and 370 Newton meters of torque in the manual version and 380 Newton meters of torque with the automatic transmission. Now moving on to the diesel. It is the 2.2 liter MHawk engine uh, that we've seen in the Thar, in the XTV700 and uh, it is a tried and tested engine 
and we know all about it. But in the Scorpio, uh, we get it with uh, two states of tune. So for the base variants, we're going to get it with a 132 PS and uh, 300 Newton meters of torque uh, state of tune. And uh, the higher variants are going to be at 175 PS and uh, 370 Newton meters of torque with the manual transmission and 400 Newton meters of torque with the automatic. How does it drive? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing next and getting behind the wheel. When it comes to driving the new Scorpio N, it's a vehicle that performs effortlessly. And when I say that, I really mean it because it's a vehicle that delights from the get-go. Uh, got behind the wheel, took off from Chakan and made my way over to Ambi Valley on the outskirts of Pune. So I got a little bit of city driving in, I got some highway stretches in, and of course the ghats that lead up to Ambi Valley. And everywhere, it was a vehicle that just wins you over in the way it powers up seamlessly, in the way it soaks up uh, road undulations, the ride quality is fantastic, the steering is nice and light at low speeds and uh, firms up really nice at high speeds. You always feel in control and it's a vehicle that you just want to take on a really nice long drive. But uh, Mahindra has obviously put in a lot of work to get this vehicle to drive the way it does. Uh, one part of it being uh, the right powertrain, which I spoke about earlier, so you've got a choice of those. But uh, they've worked really hard in ensuring that uh, the center of gravity uh, does not plague a vehicle uh, of this nature. Obviously, SUVs are known to have a very high CG and uh, the Scorpio is no different. But uh, Mahindra has uh, used, uh, well, a lot of textbook physics, uh, if I may say, uh, to get things right. So it's really wide. Uh, they've gotten a lot of ratios in place to ensure that uh, body roll is in check and uh, how to co counter all these forces and to bring about a vehicle that's very dynamic to drive, something that you can literally push through corners and uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, the suspension has also been done uh, uh, different. So uh, in the back, uh, what you get is a Pentalink uh, suspension. It is the first in this category and it also has a Watts Link suspension. So it is also the first in segment SUV to get uh, frequency dependent damping technology with advanced shock absorbers uh, that are equipped with uh, a new technology that sort of uh, swallows up harsh impacts. So that bottoming out noise that you get uh, when you go over a speed breaker too fast, uh, it would take a lot of effort to make the Scorpio do something like that. But all of this works really well to give you a dynamic drive a really thrilling experience of being behind the wheel and obviously it plays a vital role in being off-road as well. To sum it up, the Scorpio N wins you over with its on-road mannerisms. It's a vehicle that's just a delight to drive. But then when you take it off-roading is where it's sort of the icing on the cake because it takes your entire experience of such a vehicle up by more than a couple of notches. So it comes with a proper 4x4 shift on the fly system. So you've got four low, four high. And uh, you've also got Mahindra's uh, four explore uh, terrain mode, which is uh, their version of a terrain response system. So you've got uh, sand, snow, mud, or normal road conditions. And uh, it works in uh, conjunction with four low and four high. And uh, this gives you absolute control, uh, regardless of which terrain you're taking on. Uh, the Scorpio has 187 mm of ground clearance, which is more than sufficient to get you over uh, most uh, obstacles. And even on the off-roading course that we went on over here, it was just such a delight to experience how capable a machine this is. As is the popular dialogue from one of our favorite superhero films, with great power comes great responsibility. Well. Mahindra has not forgotten that either and they've ensured that when they've put together the Scorpio N they've ticked all the boxes and that includes safety and in a big way. So you get six airbags on board which include a front sight and curtain airbags. You've got a driver drowsiness detector. You even got an SOS button in case of an emergency and uh, the vehicle comes with your standard stuff like your electronic stability control, uh, hill hold, hill descent and uh, isofix seats for their kids, ABS with EBD, and it comes with all four disc brakes. So you know that you're sitting in something safe. You know you're sitting in something that's rather uh, robust. It's been built tough, and uh, it's something that you can have a lot of fun in, 
and at the same time have the comfort of knowing that you're sitting in a very safe place as you go about your business. The all new Scorpio N. It's a vehicle that delights in every single manner. It's on-road performance, it's off-road performance, everything about it just shows you what a manufacturer Mahindra has become and how they've got global ambitions down pat. This is a vehicle you could drive it anywhere in the world and you'd be impressed by it. I'm not just saying this because be India and buy Indian, but uh, it is truly a global product. It is something that wins you over from the get-go. It's a vehicle that delivers on comfort, on style, on performance, on features, you name it. This vehicle ticks all the boxes. If I have one grouse with it, it's just the third row seating, which is just only for kids. But overall, as a package, I think Mahindra has delivered something that is truly amazing, something that's worth selling your kidney for. But the good news is you don't have to do that because they've priced it just right. It is a vehicle that starts from 11.99 lakhs for the base variant and goes up to 19.49 lakhs for the top end diesel uh, variant without the 4x4. The 4x4 pricing and uh, the automatic uh, variant pricing is going to come out in a bit, but uh, trust me, they're going to get that right too. This is a vehicle that can take on the D segment and win.